Hey guys, this is Angie Blackman coming to you. Today is going to be a different kind of day on a video. So, today I'm going to be cooking corned beef and cabbage, um, pinto beans, and cornbread. And I may do a macaroni and cheese, I don't know. It's just according what kind of mood I'm in. And if my grandson's coming home uh, to, uh, to eat or not. So, I already have my cabbage cut up and washed. And I have my butter melting in my pot. So, I'm going to pour this right in here. I'm going to pour this cabbage right in here. And let me get all that cabbage that I cut up. I'm going to add salt and pepper to it. Let's see. Give it salt. Give me salt, okay. And I uh, can't tell you how much uh, salt I put in there. Probably mm, a tablespoon and a half. And this is probably gonna be about a tablespoon and a half of pepper. And I will let this cook and I'll let it, um, I'll let it stir down. Go over here and Rinse off the spoon, and I'll keep on stirring and stirring as it goes. Now I may add a little bit of water in here to it so it can uh, cook. Do I want fried cabbage or do I want stewed cabbage? There's a difference. Fried cabbage is fried with the oil and it will fry up good. Or you can have um, stewed cabbage, which is where you add the water in it and it steams it to cook it. So, I may add just a little bit of water in this. And after I get it stirred up real good, I put a lid over it and let it sit in there and steam up real good. Of course, um, stirring it, you know, not constantly, but you don't want it to burn or anything like that. So I did put a little bit of water in it. And so I have to watch it and keep on stirring it and stuff like that until it gets done. And then after it gets done, I add my corned beef to it. And as you see, the more the cabbage cooks and stuff like that, it cooks down. By like turnip greens, collard greens, anything like that. It is in the uh, leaf family, so it cooks down and shrinks down to near nothing. But as long as you got enough for the family and stuff that you know you need and maybe some left for the next day, but that's how it looks and it's cooking good. And so it won't take long now. Okay. So I've got my iron skillet in the oven and I've got my grease in it and I let it brown. Some of the, uh, some, hold on just one second. Some of the cornmeal on it. And so now I'm going to go over here and this is my, Corn, uh, cornmeal mix. This is my cornbread mix. It has milk, eggs, and I'm lactose intolerant, so it does have lactose free. 2% milk in it, and it has, uh, self rising cornmeal in it. Um, which we, we use, um, yellow cornmeal. My husband likes yellow cornmeal, and eggs and oil and, um, milk. So, I'm gonna pour this in here and y'all see how it's starting to want to fry around it. So, and 
I keep on going until I get it all out. So now that I've got it all out, I'm gonna shake it in the pan a little bit. You see it's giving it that crusty, um, real crunchy um, taste to it. And so, of course, it'll be broken up cornbread because I poured it in that hot grease. And let me get this in the oven and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's in the oven. And now we're going to check on this uh, cabbage. Of course, it needs stirring. And I mean, this is almost done. Right here, I'm giving y'all some steam, ain't I? Got this kitchen cooking up. It's cooking it up. So, and I don't, and see the juice down in there as it runs, see? So I have juice in there, so it's not dry cabbage. So I didn't fry it. Instead, it would be considered like stew. And it's got to cook more and probably about, hmm, it's 2.46 now, so probably in about 10 minutes it'll be ready. So I'm gonna put that on the timer and I'm gonna see if it will be. 10 minutes, okay. So, and then I'll add the corned beef to it. And I'll go ahead and get on these pinto beans in the pot and warm them up. And so for supper, we'll be having corned beef and cabbage, pinto beans, and cornbread. And that is a meal. That is just how you eat. Um, and it, you make it to, uh, you can make it for large crowds or you can make it for a small crowd. And it's just me and my husband that eats it. So there's no, no need to cook a pile of it. Um, and there'll probably be some left for him if he wants some later on in a little bit uh, this evening or tomorrow to warm over. So we're not wasting food at all. Okay, now, so I've opened my can of corned beef and I've put it in here with the cabbage and I will sit here and put the lid back on and let this Corn beef melt down, get heated up, and the more it heats up, the more it um, the more it'll crumble apart. So we got that going now. It's almost done. We got the pinto beans boiling. Yeah, and then we got the cornbread in the oven. Gosh. That fogged up my glasses there. Got the cornbread going right there. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Okay, everybody. So, supper's ready. Husband just came up the road and the beans are done. Just let them cook a little bit more. But he likes a lot of juice in his, so I might as well cut them off. The this is the corned beef and cabbage. Oh, it looks good. It looks weird, but it's good. And this is my cake of cornbread, as we call it. We call it a cake of cornbread. Take the pan, put the plate over after you get it out, put the plate over it, flip it, and there you go. You got your cake of cornbread. And you can see right here, as I had put the cornmeal in the pan um, that with the oil to keep it from sticking or anything like that, that the cornmeal's on there. So, and supper's ready and we're ready to enjoy it. So y'all have a blessed day. This is Angie Blackman. I love each and every one of you. God bless you all. Keep safe, keep yourself safe, your family safe. We're all going to get through this. God bless each and every one of you. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye.